Good morning. Good morning. Today is the great solemnity of the Annunciation of Jesus. Let us begin the Patriotic Rosary Prayers on page 9 or 11. Prayer for, to heal our land. Lord, Lord who, are who are we, we as, as a people, people having been given blessings for proportion as no other nation, nation before, before us? us. But as what we come, come of us, Father, we have, we have spoiled, spoiled your spacious skies with buildings and cities breathing in sand. sand. The end of the of rain are no longer viewed as our blessing, but as our due. due. The alley and the rivers renew when you gaze upon the purple mountains, and their majesty is no longer known. Whether how much pleasure they can give us, Father, we have spurned you. We blame our problems on those who promote darkness, but you give us time with your mother. Now our eyes have been opened by her. Our lack of holiness, our lamp in light has allowed darkness to prevail. Indeed, our sins, we are wrongly view as small, have allowed those in darkness to commit great sins without shame. We now realize it's because of our failings as Christians. Father, Samuel told your people, it is true you have committed all this evil. Still you have not turned from the Lord but worship him with your whole heart. For the sake of his own great name, the Lord will abandon his own people. Father, we come before you with our hearts and ask you to grant our lady her intention. We do not deserve to be with her, yet we know your son's special merit is that we are. May we recall you as you have called us. Please intercede before God to forgive us, to heal us, to heal our families, and to heal our nation. Father, grant Mary's intentions and hear her pleas for us. We know you are justly irritated with us, but we beg and plead for forgiveness to our repentance for our hearts. We realize our nation feels so disaster by so many signs you have given us. Holy, holy, holy God, Grant Mary her request that we may be to your people, not a nation above God, but one nation, nation humble and under God. Amen. The Patriotic Rosary, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. For the conversion of our nation's capital, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell the third day. He arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, life everlasting, amen. For the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. For bishops, priests, and religious, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. For the conversion of our country, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, or without end. Amen. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. For the presidency of the United States of America. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
compensation for the deliverance from evil. Amen. We plead the blood of Jesus over Alabama and every state in that and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Alaska and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Arizona and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Arkansas and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over California and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Colorado and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Connecticut and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Delaware and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Florida and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Georgia and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. For the conversion of our country, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead our souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery, the visitation of Mary to her cousin, St. Elizabeth. For the Supreme Court of the United States of America, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We plead the blood of Jesus over Hawaii and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Idaho and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Illinois and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Indiana and every soul in that state. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Iowa and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Kansas and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Kentucky and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Louisiana and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Maine and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Maryland and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For the conversion of our country, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead our souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third joyful mystery, the birth of Jesus. For, for the Senate and the House of Representatives of the United States of America, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And give us time to forgive us and deliver us from the world We plead the blood of Jesus over Massachusetts and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. We plead the blood of Jesus over Michigan and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. We plead the blood of Jesus over Minnesota and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We plead the blood of Jesus over Mississippi and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. We plead the blood of Jesus over Missouri and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We plead the blood of Jesus over Montana and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Nebraska and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Plead the blood of Jesus over Nevada and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, We plead the blood of Jesus over New Hampshire and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. We plead the blood of Jesus over New Jersey and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. For the conversion of our country. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of Jesus, for the office of the governors of the United States of America. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We plead the blood of Jesus over New Mexico, and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. We plead the blood of Jesus over New York, and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. We plead the blood of Jesus over North Carolina every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. We plead the We plead the blood of Jesus over Ohio and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. We plead the blood of Jesus over Oklahoma and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Oregon and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Pennsylvania and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Rhode Island and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. We plead the blood of Jesus over South Carolina and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. For the conversion of our country, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, 
forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and all souls to heaven, especially those who most in need of thy mercy. The fourth joyful, the fifth joyful mystery, the finding of Jesus in the temple. For all county and municipal offices of the United States of America, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We plead the blood of Jesus over South Dakota and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Tennessee and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Texas and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Utah and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Vermont and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Virginia and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Washington and every soul in our state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over West Virginia and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Wisconsin and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Wyoming and every soul in that state. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. For the conversion of our country, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry to banish children of thee. To thee we send up our sides, one day to be the spat of tears. Turn thy most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the most blessed fruit of thy Lord Jesus. O friend of the lovely, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be delivered from the hosts of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the words of eternal life, grant we beseech thee, according to the name of all these mysteries, the most holy soul to be of the blessed Mary, and his heir to thee, we may have seen what they can say, that they may be the honors of the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Memorari.
a prayer to St. Michael. Most sacred heart of Jesus, most sacred heart of Jesus, most sacred heart of Jesus, Mary, patroness of our country, Saint Joseph, Saint Faustina, Saint Anne. Please stand.
us love, teach us wisdom, teach us love. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, um, Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you. Um, and with your spirit. I welcome you here on the feast of Annunciation of the Lord is the Solemnity Feast. So during the 40 days of Lenten journey, we celebrate that Mary suggests to the angel so the Lord can be that with us and also redeem us. Trust in God's love and mercy as we say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God Glory in the highest, and, and on earth, earth, earth peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We praise we you, we bless you, you, we adore you. you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are, you are seated, seated at the right, at the right hand, hand of the, of the Father. Father. Have, mercy have mercy on us. On us. For, For you, you alone, alone are the Holy One. one. You, you alone, alone are the Lord. Lord. You, you alone, alone are the Most High, High Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ. With the Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the glory the Lord, of God, God the Father. The Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray them. O oh God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh, in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant we pray that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partaker even in his divine nature, who live and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough to weary your, for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thank be to God. Our responsorial psalm. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts and sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll, it is prescribed for me to do your will, O oh, my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. 
I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here, Here I am, Lord, Lord I, I come, come to do your will. will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here, Here I am, Lord, Lord I come, come to do your will. will. Our second reading is from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that blood of bulls and goats takes away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Glory. The Lord be with you, them. and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent to God to a house of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin be told to a man named Joseph on the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hell full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said. And Ponderous what sorts of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called sons of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the thrones of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called holy. The sons of God, 
and be holder. Elizabeth, your relative, have also conceived a son in her own age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you here on the Solemnity Feast of Annunciation of the Lord. And you, you heard from the Gospel of St. Luke, I just proclaim. And yes, the angel of the Lord came and yet asked Mary. And she humbly said yes. And yes, even she afraid. And the angel said, do not be afraid. And yet, she humbly accepting what the Lord asked for and allow things impossible become possible in our daily life and yet difficult many times. Many times we do not believe and have faith in God because we are afraid we think it's impossible. We cannot make it happen. We cannot do it. And yet during this transition, many of you know, and yes, for those who are involved. And yes, it's difficult. And then we say, impossible. That's impossible. We cannot do it. But do we humble just like Mary say yes and allow the Lord that make us and guide us and help us. So on this feast of Annunciation, God call us to, if we really want the divine yet incarnate for the humanity and just the angel call upon us, do we allow God work among us, with us? And yet today we also have the Christmas. Many things and we know the shortage of vocation and I ask you that pray for the vocation for priesthood and also pray for vocation releases life and the vocation for marriage too that all of these vocation for those who respond the call if they allow god like mary turn things impossible to be possible many times in my daily life being a priest i think it's impossible thing to do that but yet, at the end of the day, when you do the examination of your conscience, many times you say, wow, yes, amazing, it's a miracle. I don't think that, you know, thing happened. But God you it in different ways. So today, too, we also have the parish, have Monty who gave the day of the reflection. Immediately after Mass, I go put the blessing sacrament on for us. And then also Monty can share his reflection and assist us with during 40 days of Lent. And also for those involved with the faith formation, the archdiocese also have the day of reflection for them on Zoom, on live stream too, and invite them to attend Mass that the speaker married, that who also say, please attend in-person Mass, and after that, they can also, you know, attend the, the Zoom retreat for the morning from 9 to noon. So all of these things going on, I just announced these two. Also, Angel Gabriel announced to Mary. I also announced this community. Thank you for your prayer. Last night, we have financial council and pastoral council at St. John of the Wood meeting. A lot of things concern issue and the agenda, but we also have to communicate, sharing with one another. We're also planning to enter into the Holy Week. There's a lot of things, and we're also planning this Saturday cleaning the row here in the parish. And so many work, but it, if we 
think and we think that impossible, we cannot do it. But with God's help and everyone keep in to do what that we can help, it become possible. Please stand together. We profess our faith as we say, I believe in one God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty. Spirit of heaven and earth. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, lights from lights, true God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father, through him and all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate in Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered there, was buried, and rose again the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one Baptist for forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We offer our prayer to the Lord as we say them. For increased vocations to the diverse ministries that give life in abundance to the church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For civil authorities who through prayer and meditation grow to value the enduring power of loving charity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For sincere willingness to turn from condemnation and to grow in charity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those dedicated to faith formation and for those with whom they share the treasures of the church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the undaunted faith in the members of this assembly and, and in our elect catechumens and candidates, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all those who have died, especially Catherine Rudolph, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the intentions of Francis Matei and for the repose of the soul of Lanu Nafahu and for Alan Rosales, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We now offer our personal intentions. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For these and for all the prayers entered in our book of prayer and those that are held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We thank you for all the blessing. We thank you through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, able to say yes and over what fear, turn make things impossible into possible, and Emmanuel, God among us, with us, bless upon the prayer that we offer to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, our God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the breath we offer you, food of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. May the water and wine become the divinity and humanity of Christ who bless upon us. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wise we offer you, food of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, receive my sacrifice and human heart, son. Lord, wash away my nukoti and free me from my sins, son. Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of us, holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church offering so that she who is aware that her beginning life in the incarnations of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake by the overshadowing powers of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly, she born him in her immaculate womb, that the promise to be children of Israel might come about, and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him, the hosts of angels adore your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exhortation, praise as we acclaim. Um, holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are in this holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending thou your spirits upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and flesh of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this off of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the plus of the new and eternal covenants, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim the death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breast of life, the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That's with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages. We may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is your forever and ever. Amen. At the same command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth that is in heaven. Is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Raise us, leader, and peace in our world day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostle, Peace, I leave you my peace. I give you look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Them. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. Them. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace and love. Them. Lamb of God. Them. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worth that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy Eucharist. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. My soul that glory in your love, O Lord, my soul that glory in your love, O Lord, for you gaze on your servant with compassion, and you reach out and took me by the hand.
Let us pray. Confirm in our mind the mysteries of the two faith. We pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is to God and to man, we may through the saving power of his resurrection merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Immediately after we sing uh, uh, and then put the blessing uh, sacrament on and then uh, uh, Monty going to share with us uh, the reflection during Lent. And so please stay uh, after we uh, put the blessing sacrament on and listen to his talk. Uh, so the Lord uh, be with you. Um, and with your spirit. May Almighty God uh, bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Um, Thanks be to God. O Salusta. A reflection on the first joyful mystery, the solemnity of the Annunciation of our Lord. God has chosen her. Let us pray the mem memorari in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection employed thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, 
to thee we do come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother, the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. The Memorari is a prayer that reminds us that we have a wonderful advocate and protector in the Mother of our Lord, the Blessed Virgin Mary. In our prayers and saying the rosary, we honor and worship her son, who is more than happy to listen to his mother's pleas on our behalf. The Blessed Mother tells us to seek her assistance and her grace, especially when we feel most troubled in our daily lives. On this day, the Virgin Mary, the greatest, said the greatest yes of all, for God has chosen her. In the Gospels of Matthew and Luke, we learn that the angel Gabriel was sent from God to Mary and announced that she was to be the mother of Jesus. Mary, a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph, would bear a son. Gabriel, coming to her, said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, for nothing is impossible for God. Mary is the greatest disciple of our Lord. Beyond her questions, she said the, the fiat, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Our Mother Mary is our greatest and first among all the saints, surrenders herself completely to the divine plan in what is known as the fiat. Fiat means quite simply, yes. She listened and accepted God's will that she was to be the mother of Jesus. The angel informed her how the Holy Spirit would come to her and to help her to understand the power of God, told her that her cousin Elizabeth had conceived a child in her old age, for nothing is impossible for God. Mary did not immediately think of herself, but set out to visit her cousin Elizabeth, to help her and to be with her at the birth of John the Baptist. Mary's response to see her cousin in prayer, word, and action is a model for us on how to serve as disciples. The best way to understand the Blessed Mother's fiat to the divine plan of redemption is to let her teach us how to understand it. Mary's yes serves as an invitation for us to also trust in God and to experience God in deeper ways. Her yes is an act of mercy, not only because of giving birth to Christ, she helped secure a means for our own salvation, but also through her example, we learn to draw closer to God. When we hear the word proclaimed, we can look to Mary and learn from her to keep it and ponder it in our hearts as she did. Out of love for her father, she welcomed the word 
even when she didn't fully understand it. She pondered the word in her heart so that like a seed, it would bear, bear fruit in time. The Blessed Mother is, a, is leaving us an example of how to walk the life of the Spirit. She is our model of love, trust, and service. She teaches us to be thankful to God, and when we don't always understand his ways, with Mary, that is evidenced by after she says yes, she visits her cousin Elizabeth and proclaims what we now know as the Magnificat, a wonderful prayer of thanks to God for the wonderful things that he has done for her in choosing her but she is still stepping forward to a challenging and unknown future out of the trust of God. Trust, of course, is the very foundation of the message of divine mercy. The more we trust in him, the more he pours his graces out for us. Yet, how many of us truly trust with all our hearts? What is God asking me and you to do? It may be something magnificent or something ordinary. It may, it may be just to respond actively to scripture or to submit patiently to our own present sufferings. What God arranges for us to experience at each moment is the holiest thing that can happen to us. Are you able to accept each moment with grace and submission? Can you respond to the Lord as Mary said, to the angel, let it be to me according to your word. Mary's yes leads us to the birth of Christianity. Her agreement will touch people's hearts everywhere. Christians will ponder, meditate, and pray about the Annunciation as a message of hope, faith, and love. When we submit our lives to God's will, we allow God to sanctify us, and we become more like Jesus. Submission to God develops within us a humble heart and can only bring us many blessings. In this reflection, we hear the words, can you respond to the Lord as Mary did? To submit to God's will may be difficult to pursue, but it can be done with his grace. Submission to our Lord would require that we realign our lives according to his plan. Our mother Mary had to adjust to the mission to the mission God gave her to be the mother of Jesus. Likewise, being a Christian means we have to align our lives according to the sacraments, the catechism of the Catholic Church, and the values that Jesus has set for us we have to be properly aligned under God's authority, his word, and his plan. Submission to God means saying to him on a daily basis, not my will, but your will be done. When we submit our wills to Jesus, we become more like him, and we begin to imitate him. We start to speak his words and walk along the path of his will. Our will and his will become one, and we are perfectly united. We become one with him and the Father. He blesses us and brings us to beyond measure. What steps can we take? Lent offers so many ways to touch the face of God. Going to Mass? attending adoration, going to reconciliation, saying the stations of the cross, being thankful, helping others, saying the rosary, and praying for oneself and others. Let us be thankful. O Mary, Mother of God, with your yes, you have opened the doors to heaven. You have achieved the will of the Father. You will be blessed forever. Your intercessions are heard in heaven because you have accepted God's plan. Let us pray that we can say yes to the Father in every instance he asked it of us. Mary, help us to be humble, 
and obedient to God's will. Christ has given us his own mother to be our solace and our refuge as we strive to follow his footsteps. Teach me to trust and love Christ and teach me to give him to others as you gave him to us. Together, let us say the Angelus together. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death, amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to glory of his through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us petition. Lord, grant me the grace to embrace you in faith, hope, and love. Lord, I have remembered through this reflection that you are the one guiding my life and all of history. I need to be mindful that you always intend good for me, even if it is painful and purifying. So I should never be afraid of your hand in my life. I believe and trust in you, Lord, but increase my faith, hope, and love. Our own annunciation, like Mary's, can be unexpected, scary, and demanding. It can take us in a totally different direction. Of course, we can choose not to answer, saying that we have other pressing things to do. Mary could have told Gabriel, no thanks. We can say the same thing and stay deaf to the voice calling out our name. It's in God's call that we find purpose in our lives. In our enunciation, we see something beyond ourselves. There is something greater that calls us out of ourselves, allowing us the opportunity to go beyond our own concerns and priorities. Through Annunciation, God changes the world. He takes ordinary people like Mary, you, and me, people who say yes, and changes the course of our lives and others. We are not alone. God prepares Mary the Immaculate Conception beforehand with everything she will need to fulfill her mission, a mission that she accepts in freedom and through faith. We can be sure that God never asks any of us to do anything without some preparation. As God prepared Mary for her unique place in human history, and God continues to prepare, to prepare us and accompany us as we make our way through life. By the eyes of faith, we can see that God is with us always. Our Father in heaven made the, made the history of salvation depend not only on his own action, but also on the free will of his creatures. God waited for Mary to say yes before coming to be our Savior. He waits for each of us to say yes before coming to save us. We pray that he helps us to renew our baptismal and confirmation yes right now in preparation to do his will and not mine. 
Let us end this reflection by saying a special prayer for healing during this anxious and stressful time. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Immaculate Mary, you have given yourself to us as Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. You have asked us to pray with confidence, and we will receive great graces. We know your compassion because you saw your son suffer and die for us. In your union with his suffering, you became the mother of us all. Mary, my mother, teach me to understand my suffering as you do and to endure it in union with the suffering of Jesus. In your motherly love, calm my fears and increase my trust in God's loving care. According to God's plan, obtain for me the healing I need. Intercede with your son that I may have strength I need to work for God's glory and the salvation of the world. Amen. Mary, help of the sick, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.